Greetings, Soulswind here, and welcome to Let's Play Age of Mythology original version with the Titans edition. <laughs> so it's actually Gold Edition, Age of Mythology Gold Edition. Now let's start with the backstory. First, I don't have the game anymore, or rather I didn't have the CD anymore, so I had to purchase a copy of the game. Thankfully, I found a seller who sold the original copy of the game with the expansion, and it was a sealed copy. Brand new. That means we can do unboxing. I mean, even if it's not brand new, we can still do unboxing, but it is brand new. That makes it a lot better. So as you can see, I'm trying to be very careful with the unboxing. Note that that's the only time I'm being quite careful with the disc. <laughs> Thereafter, I'm just like, okay, as long as I wash my hands, I can touch the CD and that's about it. So the CD version of this game comes with two discs. Now, more about the inserts of the CD casing. So before touching these booklets, wash your hands first. It can help preserve these treasures for a longer period of time. We have this little booklet, just tried to show a few pages of the booklet. It is printed on high quality paper, glossy. Yeah, I don't know how to describe that kind of paper, but it's almost cardboard paper. Just provide some information about the game, like in terms of like movement, resources, what does food look like? What does wood look like in the game? So anyone who has a CD version, this insert would be really, really useful and also very, very precious because nowadays games are digital. We don't have these kinds of inserts, but they keep better, of course, because digital copies, you can always make extra copies and keep it for yourself. Like you can preserve it for a long time. Physical copies, you need to take a lot more effort to ensure that they are kept in tip top condition. Now we also have a chart here for the four different factions the Atlantean, the Norse, the Egyptian, and the Greek factions. So we get to see each of the factions, like what are the ages and what are the things we can get for each of the ages and whatnot. We get to learn about the game before we even see the game or experience the game. So it's like a full package of experience, in fact. And once again, it's printed on poster quality paper, like very high quality cardboard like paper and just looks really really cool the last booklet is the booklet from microsoft it just tells us how to install the game and how to read online documentation and support services and whatnot the installing portion everything is not handled by a platform so we have to go through the steps entering the cd key which i'll have to mask out of course and then we go to the installation, we have to wait, and we are entertained by flavor text. These are things that will help cue us in on what the game is about. If not, we can always look at the insert, the charts and everything to keep us occupied. But these are really, really nice touches, something that is like a rarity nowadays, like we wouldn't get to see these things. As you can see the casing, there's a lot of information on the front and even more information on the back. It's, it, it stands out to you when you go to a store to purchase a game. Like you can see the effort put into these things. Of course, I'm going to try to hide some of these serial numbers and whatnot because I don't know which ones might be unique to each version. And yeah, those will be must. Now for the casing though, what I don't really like about the casing is that this version is a two CD in one slot version, meaning that one disc is stacked onto the other. That kinda increases the chance that the CD might be scratched. Disc one is the first disc to install, then in the middle of the installation, it will switch to disc two. However, disc one allows us to play Age of Mythology, while disc two allows us to play the Titan edition. So in order to play the original one, like non-Titan, we have to go into the installation path and actually click on aom.exe to launch the base game.
Now for story time. <laughs> I will try to cut this short. I tried to install the game on my main computer where I play the games. It didn't work. It said administrator rights. So I gave it administrator rights. Still did not work. No response anything. I searched online for various clues and whatnot using compatibility mode. Did not work. So maybe installation, I reinstalled it as a custom install and chose the directories and whatsoever. Installed for one user or multiple users, whatever. Did not work. Maybe something about Windows 10 not supporting, so I tried older versions of Windows, like Windows 7, Windows on a laptop, even Windows 11, as well as Windows 7 on a VM. None of those worked. Like they all had the same administrator issues. When we enabled administrator, it would have no response. Oh, I think for the VM though, it said that there is no GPU, so it still did not work. It doesn't do GPU bridging. So eventually I was able to get an actual Windows 7 version for my old laptop and install it. But same thing, administrator followed by no response. So then I found something about Windows update, like something something 55 KB knowledge base and that thing could have been a problem. So I removed the update, it did not work. All of those just didn't work until I found something about SECDRV, the disk protection sec drive made obsolete by our operating system and therefore we need to run the service manually. It still did not work. Changing the registry did not work. Using command prompt to run or set up the service for the disk protection to run in different modes did not work until I found a very detailed solution on GitHub. It was easy to follow and very detailed and it worked. It worked because at least the game reacted. Anyway, even after there is a reaction, what reaction was it? No C++ uh, distributable whatever. So that had to be set up. Then MS XML 4.0 was missing. I think I had it before, but somehow I removed MS XML 4.0 and it was a chore trying to find the installer for MS XML 4.0. Eventually, after a lot of searching, I found it. Then I encountered a problem with direct play, legacy component not working. So that was easy. We had done that before right at the first Let's Play series. Total Annihilation, so I even have a troubleshooting video specifically on how to switch on the direct play legacy component. So if you want to know how to switch that on, you can go to that video. I'll post that video's link in the description. The next problem is recording the gameplay. And video shadow play was not supported, but not before being unable to log into GeForce Experience. So I had to reinstall GeForce Experience and then log in and find out, hey, it doesn't support shadow play. The laptop isn't very old though. It's surprising that the GPU does not support shadow play. Anyway, eventually I decided on OBS. And only after that can we start setting up the recording and everything like uh, graphical settings and whatsoever, resolution and whatnot. And by then, what I had originally planned, because I got the premium edition, therefore we have the advanced access. We can access the game seven days early or something like that. Unfortunately, those seven days were mostly gone, <laughs> but it is what it is. It is said that the service, the disk protection thingy, actually is obsolete now and could lead to vulnerabilities. Anyway, with that said, now this Let's Play series is the Age of Mythology Gold Edition CD version of the Let's Play and there will be no notification when new episodes go up. So for people who found this video first, I'm playing three different versions of the game in parallel, but not together of course, like not simultaneously, I can't multitask. So I'll be playing one after another, starting with the CD version so I can talk about the previous version as I play the next and all three versions would be on the channel at the same time. 
And then I'll be doing another series that's a comparison between the three versions that will be on the channel a little later than the three versions. Age of Mythology Gold Edition, just like the other versions of this game, is a RTS game where it involves gathering resources, building up a base, training soldiers, and sending them out to fight. It's just that we have mythological creatures and mythical beings in the game, like the ancient gods, the mythical gods, and everything that will give us extra powers and everything that will help us with the game. In this game, there is air, land, and sea. Whether they all involve combat, I can't remember. I don't think air units can fight. I can't really remember that much, but we'll find out in the game. In the next episode, where we begin on the tutorial of this game. Now let's take a look at game menu. So you can see that uh, the game menu is already alive with a lot of things happening. We have a dragon hovering nearby. We have a horseman entering the scene and leaving the scene. Fishing boats entering and leaving the scene as well. There's I think two because like one is entering from the southeast and the other is entering and leaving the southwest. Then you have the waves, which is telltale of the technological limitations back in those days. Like, it's actually multiple of the same waves animation played on a different frequency. So like, when the loop ends, it will start again. And you can see it like reverse back to the very beginning and starting again. So there's that. For graphical settings though, if our hardware cannot support the graphics, we're able to go into the options and then go to low and then click OK. It will go into this version of the menu, a static version, but equally cool. And there's like two of the mythical gods here. But of course, we can support the details. So let's change it back to high graphical settings. And then the music returns. Oh, wait. I have no idea this menu is even here. Wow, wow, this is new to me as well. So this will go into the comparisons video. Holy, whoa, I, I have no idea. I have no idea that this is part of the menu. Let's try again. Let's find out more. Hey, that was a one time. I restarted this a few times and it's always this menu. So quite interesting, isn't it? Really quite interesting there. We can explore some of the menu items as well. We've got credits, we've got uh, update, which I don't think is available anymore. So let's just leave it as it is. Options. Yeah, these are just like the different options that are available. I think this is switched on if it's like lighter color. Idle military banner, build status, footprints. Footprints might be useful. And for camera rotation though, yeah, I don't think we would want to use camera rotations right now. Eventually when we are done with this, we'll go to the expansion. That's where we'll then see a different menu. For now, we're ending this episode. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you'll check out the other parallel series that are running along. Thank you so much for watching. That's all I have for now. Have a nice day.